managed to get his splints on in about two hours. It took me two hours, but I managed to get both of them on and then they both stayed on for 90 minutes, which is a record. Um, the angle wasn't super great. Um, his right was at about 160 degrees and um, we need to get to about 30 degrees. Um, they hyperextend at 225 degrees, so 160 is much better than 225, but we still have quite a ways to go with that. Uh, oh my goodness. That's not a snare for me. Do you think we can have some hydroponazole before you fill up on the foods? It is better to give the ringworm meds on, a, on an empty stomach. Uh, hey, we just take it slow. I know. Mr. Jingle is so delightful, but he's not a fan of meds. He's definitely not. Oh. Good job. And these meds are yucky, so it takes multiple small bits. Oh, he's had enough. That's what casserole does. There. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Good job. Oops. All the things are mad. Look at you. Oh, you're so handsome. You just handsome. Oh, you're so handsome and adorable. Okay. Let's do a little of this. All right, your nose is looking much better. Mm, you're good at medicine. You. It's good you haven't. You haven't been ruined by watching Jingle and his antics. Good job. What a good boy. What a good boy. I was trying to get your foof sticky. Oh, so handsome. So handsome. Ready? Just one more and then we're done. We're done with the yucky part. Oh, there we go. Good job. Good job. Let's do an ear check, shall we? Oh. Oh. oh, I inspired the jingle to use the bathroom. Uh, so yeah, so casserole, um, he is notorious for tolerating one form of splinting or cart or device for a few days and then um, and then no longer tolerating it. So uh, it remains to be seen if these splints will be successful uh, tomorrow. But at least we got one really good session in today. Good from a duration perspective, not necessarily from an angle perspective, but not the not horrible. We kind of have to ease into it anyway, so that's why. So we did how long? Oh, 75 minutes yesterday, but only on one side. I only got about 30 minutes in on the other side. So this, so both sides for 90 minutes is is good, and that gives us a good starting point for tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll try to be two hours, so um, that may be ridiculous to think that that will work, but I don't know. I guess I just tend to be ridiculous uh -huh. and unrealistic, but so we'll see. We will see. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Evicting your gunk. All right. There, that's looking better. That's looking pretty good. So what else? Uh, in the other room, Joy has a, she's going through her upper respiratory phase. Um, typically we will see symptoms of any viruses that they're carrying um, will come out within seven to 10 days of, ex of either exposure or a stressful incident. So in this case, trapping, so she uh, waited about a week after she was trapped, which was obviously stressful. And um, so it's not super surprising that she's showing symptoms of upper respiratory. And uh, we will just have to monitor and wait it out for the most part, um, unless she develops a secondary bacterial infection or something like that, and then we'll add some antibiotics. But Typically with these viruses, supportive care with fluids and good nutrition and uh, a good environment. Um, that's really the only thing you can do. Then you just have to wait, wait it out. So no fun waiting it out, but that's what we have to do. So Holly is feeling much better though. So I expect Joy will follow the same course as Holly. Uh, mistletoe was just purring and actually stretched and sort of like flopped out of my lap. And then um, when she's not in the lap, then she gets nervous. Uh, but she didn't run and hide. She went and observed for a while and, uh, and then she went and ate while I was in the room. So that's good. Um, it's all a little bits of progress. You can see you are so cute. You're so cute. You used to hit that me too. It's quite a purr you have there. Quite a purr. <laughs> now the elf on the shelf. See if I can approach in my rustly suit. I'm just going over here. Oh. It's better to catch her quickly but awkwardly than to chase her around the room in my rustly, noisy bunny suit. Because once she's caught, then she's pretty content. But getting caught is scary, right? Oh, poor little nose. Poor little nose. Let's have the meds. Hopefully you will start feeling better soon. Whoops, sorry. Whoops, sorry, here we go. Oh, goodness. Ready, go. Good girl, what a good girl. You're so sweet and special. Elf is still having congestion also, but <laughs> you're so smart. You're the cleverest one about your meds. Let's try a frontal approach. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Such a good girl. 
micro food and macro food are hanging out at the other food bowl. How are your ears looking? Oh, they're pretty clean. Pretty clean. <sighs> there you go. They are looking good. So anyway, um, <clears throat> if anyone is interested in providing an exceptional home for mistletoe and or one of the other cats, uh, I mean mistletoe along with one of the other cats, ideally, um, let me know. I may switch the cams for a bit so that people can get to know that room a little bit better. Um, what a good girl. Is that everybody? Um, basically, she would need someone who uh, understands where she came from and that she's going to run away hissing a lot of the time. But eventually, we would think that, there you go, good girl. Good girl, all done. But eventually, um, hopefully that would lessen, but she may, she may always be a bit uh, fearful on approach, but once you, get, once you get her and have her in your lap, she loves it. She's so, she just purrs and she purrs and she purrs and she's really enjoying it more and more and she's able to be out in the open more and more, which is really good. So I think she'll make progress. Um, but it has to be in the right home. So um, a quiet home, um, she would probably be okay with other cats. I think she should be with other cats. I think she would have a hard time on her own. Um, I don't know about dogs. I think dogs might be scary for her, but I don't know. That's hard to say. Um, Small kids, probably a no. Because um, I think quiet, I think it's going to take some time and it's going to take patience and um, tiny human exuberance would probably be too much for her. Um, maybe eventually, but not for now. So, and just someone who's willing to be patient with her, and the good thing is we know what works with her, and we know, we know what she likes and what she, what she responds to and what scares her, so she loves being in your lap and being petted, and then like swishy bunny suits and trying to catch her are scary, but um, if you, we have it set up in there so she is pretty easy to catch, so that part is not as scary for her. And um, but um, I think if, if I think that as soon as we get our ringworm clearance in that room, um, it would be nice for her to be able to be in a home, but um. I, th I think she'll make progress and I think she'll be okay. We don't, we always have to think about if, she, if we're condemning her to a life of being fearful all the time, but seeing her, um, just being able to observe her on the camera when we're not around, she's totally happy, she plays and she's not desperate to get out. She's not trying to escape out the window or anything like that. So I think that if we found the right home, that she would actually be quite happy. And I think that in time, she would probably be, um, I don't like that, that sound you're making, buddy. But I, I do think in time, she's just a lovely lap cat. She just is nervous about the approach. So, and it's only been like, I don't know what day it is today, but it's not been that long. 
like a week and a half maybe. So she's come really far in a week and a half. So I think that eventually she will be pretty good. Um, our, our first concern is that she will be happy wherever she ends up and that we're not taking her away from a situation where she was happy in the forest and putting her into a situation where she's going to be under constant stress. But um, less, I think less and less that's the scenario because she's really... You're stinky. No, wait, let's have some standing up petting now. Oh, I know. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. You can do it, though. Yes. See? Look, you can have some foods. Oh, there. There. Let's just try it. Because all your little friends like this. All your little friends are so brave and they really like it. She's like, see? There you go. See? It's not so bad. You just have to try it. Take a no thank you helping. When I was growing up and I didn't want to eat the squash, I hadn't taken no thank you helping of the squash in any way. And it was gross, but I ate it and I survived. Just like you, see? There you go, good girl. Good girl. That's very brave. That's very, very brave. Now I'm afraid to move because my swishy sweet's gonna make a swishy noise. Also, my face really itches. Oh, good girl. What a good girl. It's okay. I'm backing away slowly. So uh, that's the story about mistletoe. Um, I should update the adoption info on the website, but you can go to tinykittens, oh hello, tinykittens.com slash adopt and see the general adoption process. Um, I haven't updated it for these guys yet because it's too early and it's, I think it's hard. It's hard when we're taking applications and they're not going to be ready to go for however many weeks because Sometimes circumstances change, or people will fall in love with another cat. Oh, look at you, upside down. Look at this upside downness is very good. Oh, 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 so much progress. That's good, that makes me happy. Oh, are you trying to shake your ringworm on to me? You are, aren't you? That's okay, I probably already have it. I probably, you've probably already done your job. It's okay. Mmm, so much purring, it's so nice. Oh, aren't you just so sweet? Look at you, look at you. Oh, where are you going, Nikki? Do you want me to, here, let me help. I can help with this. This is totally my area of expertise. With, after you guys. Uh, it's still too early. Oh, look at that. What on earth? And all oh, that, a big chunk of something. He was storing in there. Wait, come back. Come back, I'm not done exploring. I totally just got spore tailed. Spore tailed. Okay, let's let's investigate this situation. Let's just check that out. Oops. Flicked, flicked ear gunk on my 
so no wonder that was bugging you. Hmm, a big chunk. Try your other one. Let's see what the, let's see what do lights lie within. Oh, this one's much cleaner. Good job. Okay, that one's very clean actually. We will be able to treat them again for ear mites in case there are any. Since they were so infested, it's possible that there are still in there that we weren't able to get because we can only clean so much of the ear right we can't go like way in there but um, we will treat again in another I think week and a half or so just in case session in on him later tonight but it'd be nice if it didn't take two hours to get him strapped in maybe someday I'll get more efficient at it but I think the problem is as I get more efficient he gets more clever and rambunctious but he did pretty well so anywho everybody all right um I think that's the update um, the next bath day is going to be Wednesday because that's when we could get enough people together. Um, I think so. We'll be back probably later tonight to do a quick food refill. Most likely, although we probably won't need it. We'll see how it goes. We shall see. Okay. Uh, but I can't still get the little microfiche. Two. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, that's loose. Like, people here, they can put you on another little cam. Hey, Elvers. <laughs> 